Hello everyone, welcome to the Swift Academy. In this series of the videos, we are going to create a top trending movies application with the Swift MVVM pattern. We are going to create each UI inside the zip files. We are going to delete the uh, send delegate and also delete the storyboard, main storyboard, and creating the whole MVVM pattern from the scratch. We are going to create the view controllers view model and also cell view models and how we are going to passing the data when we are selecting one of these rows and passing the view models and inject it to the new view controller. We are using the binding here and also we are going to learn how we can actually create an application that it doesn't matter if you are in the light mode or in the night mode. So bear with us. In this series, you are going to learn a lot about how the, to uh, doing the MVVM with the all network requests and all the view models and passing data to roof that. So for starting this project, we are going to open our Xcode. The Xcode version that I'm using is 13.4.1. This is the current stable version that Apple provided for us. Uh, to creating the project from the scratch, just click on the create a new Xcode project. Then we are going to choose the iOS, the application and hitting the next. Uh, I'm going to call our project as the movie uh, trending and it will be care all of the other settings for us. Make sure your interface is going to be a storyboard. We are not going to use the Swift UI in this training session. And the language should be Swift. Click on the next. I just save it on the desktop and click on the create button. As you can see, the project already created. I'm just moving the window to show you all the things here. This is the main window that we actually seeing just right before after uh, we creating the project we are not going to support the ipad and also we just supporting the portrait mode here now it's time to go through these folders and files and make them uh, just like as we are going to use in our mvvm projects uh, I'm going to uh, remove the sense delegate.swift file by click on the delete and yes, move to the trash. Then I'm going to the info.plist file that it is here and clicking the application sense manifest and then hit the delete button here. And also, we are going to back to the app delegate and starting to change something here. So when we are uh, opening the application, the first class that iOS is looking is the app delegate. From here, iOS can find out which session or which window should be presented. Uh, you can find out in the mark section, we have the UI sense session life cycle, and there is a uh, two function underneath of it. We're going to delete and get rid of all those. And also we need to change this main here to the UI application main. Assign UI application main. As you can see, it will be already provided for us. But we need a window for presenting our data. So for that case, I'm just creating a variable here var window. As you can see, it will be automatically pop up because it's already know that we definitely need this kind of the window here. Uh, this is all you need to do for deleting the app sense or sense delegate. Then the second thing that we are going to do is that deleting the main storyboard. Just click on the main storyboard file here. Right click on that, click delete move to the trash and then you have to go to the uh, main settings of your application and from here select your target and inside the main interface you have to click on the main and empty it so in that case you don't have any storyboard that you're going to be presented so in that case the app delegate window here 
uh, is the responsible for which kind of the window should be presented just after the launch screen appear. We have a view controller file here, but this view controller uh, attached to our storyboard. We don't need that one anymore, so I'm going to delete that one as well. And uh, we need to create a main view controller here for ourselves. So I'm just creating a, a folder here or a group here, call it as the main uh, view controller. And inside it, I'm going to create a Coco Touch class that consists of the UI view controller and call it as a main or main view controller. And asking them, okay, we need the zip file too. So create the zip file for us. It will be put inside that group that we created. So we now already have the main view controller here. I just grab it and coming back to the app delegate and just before returning the true, we are going to add some codes here. We already create our window object here. Now we have to define it. So let window, this is a new window object that we are going to create and then assign it to the main window object at the top. So let window equal to UI window and the frame that it needed actually it is the whole screen of your phone or the iPhone device so we are going to call the UI screen that main that bounds it will be uh, grabbing all the frames all the bounds from the your main screen and attach it to the window the other thing is the window needed okay we have a window now what is my root view controller uh, you can achieve that by just writing the window dot root view controller and assign it to your new main uh, view controller that just created here main view controller and after you did that you have to make this window visible for the application cell just make key and visible then you can simply assign yourself window that we have it here in the app delegate that's not going to be destroyed because it is inside a class that will be exist entire your life cycle of the application and will be equal to our window. That's all you have to do for that. And then if you want to make sure that our view controller is actually presented or not, you can just come here and uh, to the zip file and put some label here and I'm going to call it as the main and I'm going to put it center click on the iPhone for example 11 as a simulator and trying to build the application As you can see, the project is built and navigate to our main uh, view controller that we just created. It presented after the launch screen, but it doesn't have any navigation controller at the top. So we definitely need a navigation controller because we need to supporting moving around the views and view controllers. We can achieve that by defining navigation controller inside our app delegate as well. So we are going to come back to our app delegate file and create a navigation controller for ourselves. What I want is meaning for that is you can just create a let just navigation controller and equaling to the UI navigation controller. And what will be the root of the navigation controller? The root of the view controller for the navigation controller will be our main view controller. And then the root view controller for the window will be our navigation controller. So in that case, we are going to have a navigation controller at the top of our view controller. And if I put a title inside our view did load here, self dot title equal to uh, for example main view and then trying to build our application again you can see that we have a navigation bar at the top 
as we call it the main view for the title of this page and then we have the, the view controller uh, the navigation control that you created inside the app delegate it can be separated in other classes or other helper functions but for the simplicity we just keep it here as in, inside the app delegate and later on we are going to describe how we can achieve that so up to now we remove the uh, sense delegate we remove the main storyboard we create our view controller and we have our application ready to code and uh, starting to developing our MVVM pattern. Now we start to foldering our project based on the MVVM pattern. In the MVVM pattern, we have the model, view, and view model. But we also need other some kind of the classes or functions inside the iOS application. It's not just simple as it is saying that um, we need just a view and model and view model because in the iOS we have some kind of the controllers that control is the view controller and also we need some kind of the classes or extensions or even the resources we need some uh, classes or functions for networking so uh, when we are going to group our project inside some sort of the folders then later on when you are going to look at your project or someone else trying to change something inside your code it will be so easier for them or even for yourself after a couple of the months that you're not touching that project uh, to find out okay where is the classes where is that kind of the functionalities so bear with me we are going to start to creating some groups now and then we are adding some kind of the classes the, uh, the base thing inside the model view view model patterns or MVVM patterns, the, it is the views. So we are going to create the group as the view. Then we need some kind of the other kind of the groups related to the view model. Then we need the other group called the controllers for us. Then we are going to create the model and also i'm going to add some other sort of the uh, groups or folders here as well for example the classes here i will put some codes uh, that affects all the project like singleton codes or other things that will be inside our classes group and then we are going to have uh, some resources group that will be um, consist of some fonts or even the assets or whatever you are going to put inside your project even if it be a file all of them consist of the resources i'm going to create the next one the next group as the extensions it will be consist of all the extensions that we, you may be created for example you may be create a, a ui view extension or ui button extensions you will be put it here and the last one that one of the important thing is that sorry you have to create a group the important thing is networking for our application because the application should call some api so all the networking should be uh, happening inside our networking group or, or uh, folder here you have to create those classes here if the project is going on, if you have some kind of the database, if you have some kind of the managers, for example, authentication managers, user managers, or other things, you can create two other groups as well. For example, database and the managers and put all of them there. So with kind of the folding that we just have, let me move this main view controller as it is presenting, it is a view controller. I'm going to move it inside the controllers here. We have the assets as I describe it, it will be just a resource for us because we are going to add some kind of the images or files or even phones inside that. The launcher screen, it is just a view for us. I'm going to put it underneath of the view. And if you look at the foldering now, you should have such a thing in your project. It will be so clear inside the MVVM pattern all the groups all the folders is now has their own responsibilities for the launcher screen 
let me just add one logo that I provided for this course inside our assets and by dragging and dropping it here now we have the movie details file here and if I'm going to the launch screen I can just add an image view here I'm going to put it center and also I'm going to give it a width and high ratio as equal to 240 and assigning our image that we just copying to the uh, asset file as well here so now we have the launch screen for testing that let me bring up the simulator and uh, rebuild the application yeah there are you, you can see that the, the launch screen actually started and we have the uh, image that you provided for the launch screen there so let me do some other things inside the view controller as well for example our main view controller i can change uh, cleaning some codes here and also i can add some background here so that view that background color i'm going to put it equal to the uh, red to make it uh, visible for us and seeing the change